This episode of Capes and Lunatic Sidekicks is brought to you by Tweaked Audio. To get awesome headphones, go to tweakedaudio.com and use the coupon code SOUTHGATE to get 30% off, free shipping, and a lifetime warranty. Or you can get there through the link on our website, southgatemediagroup.com. This is Luca Parrish, and you are listening to Vacation and the Lunatic Sidekicks podcast. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Legends of the Arrowverse. I am Phil. Joining me as always, that star, a hey girl, it's... Hey y'all, it's Little Hellfire. She's like, I woke up for this. <laughs> I... <laughs> I thought my trunky stupor for this. Come on, Will. You know you like talking star girl. We're gonna talk. I do. Episode I nine do. and ten tonight, and a classic review showcase fourteen. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked the old stuff. I thought I did too. <laughs> well, this is the last issue showcase. After this, we're gonna do the class. After class. Wait for talking. I thought you know we're gonna get into some Black Canary. <laughs> Some Johnny Thunder. <laughs> we could if you want. I said I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I said we should. Or hey, you know what we could do? We could follow Barry Allen through Justice League too. Mm, maybe I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> okay. You so, have to ask me on the right day for me to say yes, because I feel like he just is made to look like an absolute idiot sometimes when he's in the Justice League. Oh well, yeah. So, anyway. ask, her when she, ask her when she's in the right mood, gentlemen. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. It's a very rare event. <laughs> and yeah, and don't try to put a ring on that thing. We'll get hurt. <laughs> Physically and emotionally. Kind of like Brainwave Jr. <laughs> oh, good for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, yeah, because I was going to say, well, I don't think there's any new Arrowverse news, is there? I mean, other than CBR stealing from us, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm starting that Twitter beef. I don't even care. <laughs> do it. Do it. Oh, I saw it. I think today they were covering Maximum Carnage. I was like, oh, man, we were, we were there. And oh, then we're, yeah, we're way ahead. They're, they're just catching up on our Wade's world. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. No, was that, was that early comic keepers or something? Anyway, I Star Girl is um getting a little dark there. <laughs> yeah, Brainwave and Brainwave Junior. The episodes, yeah. Barbara yeah. knows. <laughs> Barbara knows. You know, like I said, and honestly, y'all know how I feel about my Barbara character, so I'm I'm happy, but then I'm not. I, I appreciate that we didn't go the CW drama route where it's like and wait know, three seasons or, or she spent or she spent the whole rest of the season. Oh, no, I have to take you away from, you know, Pat, no, the town and, every, you know, she kind of, I don't know, seemed like they were turning her around by the end of that first step by the end of the episode. Yeah, we, we don't want any more Felicity characters, so I think we've all learned our lesson. <laughs> oh, my. I mean, it's Jeff John, so you know. Keep it simple, stupid. Like, honestly, when it comes to a comic book show, I don't know what they don't understand about that. I live for when they make panels come to life, but oh, it's so expected. We're subverting expectations. I mean, you, you can... Star Girls out here giving us everything we've ever wanted. I mean, you don't have to follow event, you know, panel by panel from the source material, but try to keep the characters I mean, like we could try it for once. I'm just saying, true, we but could I'm try just saying, it, see how even, it turns out. But even if they don't want to do that, it, it, at the at the least, keep the character the true, same. True, yeah, <laughs> the source material exactly. Yeah, which I think they're kind of doing well. It's the luxury that Star Girl has is that her creator is her executive producer. Mm-hmm. And honestly, DC has to hang on to Jeff Johns. <laughs> so, <laughs> no shade. We all love Jeff Johns and everything, but 
Oh, it's I'm just all- a matter of fact. I'm always champion that. I'm always saying they should bring in more comic creators that you know do these like TV shows and you know at least at least give their input on some of these TV and movies, if not write the whole thing. Yeah, that that that's all that I ask. But yeah, I I've been enjoying Star Girl. I can't believe we only have three episodes left. <laughs> I know, I know. Although we already know we're the gonna finale is probably going to be pretty epic. So yeah, I'm sure. Oh. And then, then that second episode when they're trying, when uh, our man's trying to break through to Solomon Grundy, I could just hear Charlie Esser holding his breath. I know. I was just like, everybody's like, oh, Stargirl's going to meet her real dad. And I'm like, shut up. Just shut your dumb butts up. Just shut it. <laughs> like, all the fan groups. I don't know if you saw that. I was just like, oh my God, you guys are idiots. Yeah, because I mean, just the way oof, Barbara was emailing us. I mean, is it going to end up to start with Starman, her uncle or something? Is that what's going to turn out to be maybe? I say they might actually go the obvious route, but like oh, they're kind of they're kind they're kind of like eel, eel board thon it a little bit, maybe. Uh, oh, it's oh. like it's so obvious, but there's a twist, and you don't see the twist coming. That's why Barbara freaked out when she found out because, yeah, the dad's not dead. She told the dad, "No, what you do is dangerous. Stay away from our daughter. I'll tell her you." You know, which makes sense. I mean, honestly, like so this then, girl's got some sense. So then she <laughs> told her she he was dead or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I definitely think it's like it's gonna be that Eobard, uh, Thon Flash season one twist. It's so obvious, and then the twist comes. You're like, what? <laughs> you lied, but then you didn't lie. How did you do that? Oh, <laughs> uh, Eobard. I, I'm you really get a vibrating hand. Though. You get a vibrating hand. The good. Don't you miss the good days when Cisco was a good character? Oh. <laughs> Wasn't whiny. Hashtag fight me. Wasn't, what? Wasn't whiny. <laughs> well, he's always been kind of whiny, but at least he had some other things going on for him. Yeah. Little speaks the truth. If you don't like it, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I really feel like Star Girl. Outside of like the high school drama, like because honestly, like their demographic trends kind of old. Like I don't. Like, oh, I've really? noticed, like, when I'm live tweeting, there's not, like, a lot of teenagers. There's, like, a lot of, um like, early 20s to, like, mid-30s watching. So, it's kind of, like, this really weird hmm. thing that's happening with uh, Stargirl. Because it's, like, yeah, people are kind of, like, thirsty for that Silver Age slash Golden Age kind of cheesy, wholesome thing again. Because it's just, if you look on what, what's on TV, it's just actually a breath of fresh air. Oh, yeah. You know, I think people are waiting, especially stuff from D.C. that's not truly really really dark like i said star girl and wonder woman are like carrying the whole dc franchises on their shoulders man and i'm like so upset because right now wonder woman should be getting ready to come out in like two weeks and then i ha- now I have to wait till october so i'm like not happy about that i know yeah. i know so it's like leave it to the ladies matter of fact can we get patty jenkins a tv show on the cw can we just can we just do the- that i've been waiting on my amazon tv show forever that's been in development hell forever that's uh supergirl stole her slot no shade just saying that's what happened um so yeah i'm just saying we can get down to troy i mean we do have a titan show just i'm just throwing it out there dc you you need some help it's kind of obvious y'all are struggling I told, I told, I told you they need to make Patty Jenkins the Foggy over there. Something, because <laughs> it is something to be desired. But I like, I want the DCEU to be killed with fire, salted to the ground, shot into a different dimension, and never to be heard from again. Yeah, I was but gonna say. you guys wanted the Snyder Cut so much that. Now we're yeah. stuck with problematic people. Well, that's what I said. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the Flash can get the even bigger popularity and heights with a good Flash movie, but the first thing you have to do is get rid of Ezra Miller. Basically. <laughs> and can we just make it Wally? Like, let's just be honest. Like, let's just spill this tea. As much as I love Barry and as much as I love Jay, just give, like, justice for Wally West, okay? My poor, literally redheaded stepchild, justice for Wally. Yeah, but I mean, would there be a f- uproar if they put a redheaded Wally West in a movie? You know, people from the TV, would the people who only watch the TV show be like, wait a minute, wait a minute, they made the black character. Look, look, y'all know I love the Flash and I stand and all that stuff, but 
it's a CW show. There's only like a million people or less at this point watching. And with all the redheaded characters in TVs and movies being erased, I say they need to do a redheaded Wally West to win the fans back. I mean, that's just me. I mean, yeah, I but you know, I mean, a million people it doesn't it only takes a fraction of that to start a controversy or not. Well, you know, to start there. an echo chamber, yeah, sure. But DC don't care; they do what they want. So I'm just like, you know, if they hear, if somebody hears this, you know, and likes it, run with it. I got you back, and I will squash everybody in the forums. Don't don't even worry about it. I want my Wally West movie. <laughs> just just Justice for Wally West, y'all. That that's what we need to get trending. <laughs> Just give Lilith her redheaded flash. Go ahead, throw it in. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Linda. <laughs> Whoa. Anyway, like I said, like I, that's just what I enjoy about Star Girl. Like I just find it so intriguing. The more that I dig into the demographics and who's actually liking it, so it's like people that actually have money to spend. <laughs> no offense, guys. No offense. Forty-five-year-old 40, fathers from New Jersey. <laughs> right. I just I feel like it's a family show that like what season one of Flash was. It was something you could actually watch with your kids. Oh yeah. And the whole the Arrowverse is so dark now. Mm-hmm. The that, that's why I really knew they were testing the waters or like this, this was never gonna see on stay on the DC universe online because you know, they're ending their yearly uh subscription. So the writing is on the wall. Uh I believe the next season of Titans was announced to be on HBO Max, or I don't know if that's like widespread, but yeah, that's happening. Oh, is so, it? Yeah, yeah it, it's happening. So, well, I thought I know. saw something. I think, what is it? I think they're putting some older stuff. Oh, I think they was it season two of Krypton. They're going to put on DC Universe. So I guess they're just going to put old stuff, older stuff on there. It's dying, guys. Y'all better demand your free year of HBO Max. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, I'm proud of Star Girl. I like the the storylines that they're going with. I love the villains and like these legacy characters because I feel like DC has a solid roster of legacy characters that we don't dig into deep enough. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like really excited about the possibilities, and I love how they've handled the JSA so far. Like it's super respectful. They put respect on them names. Like I'm just really pleased with it. All right, what do you, do you think? Uh, spoilers. All right, get ready for spoilers in three, two, one. Do you think Brainwave Junior is really dead? Hell no. The Jack? <laughs> Hell no. All you <laughs> saw was debris. You never saw the body, right? So, I mean, no body, no murder. <laughs> tel- telekinetic field. I mean, come on. Yeah, so come on. That, that's just shock value. It's like, you know, we, we don't even have a cliff cliffhanger. So no matter how like crazy the season ends, you know, we know that we get season two, so that's nice. Yeah. I mean I like the I like the fight scene uh you know down in the basement with the Dragon King. <laughs> Courtney can actually Cheesy but stuff. fun. That is the mantra. Cheesy but fun. Like, you know, their action scenes are something to be desired, but I'm like, okay, they're learning and they're teenagers and not everybody's as athletic as, you know. Homegirl, so I was, like, I was waiting for pap, zap, pow. I wouldn't even mind it. I would not. Even, <laughs> I wouldn't even <laughs> bat an eyelash. But yeah, like I'm so proud of Star Girl and how well it's doing and how oh. well it's being received. So yeah, if you're not watching it, guys, like come on, seriously, you should be watching it live. I think honestly, this is a show that benefits from live tweeting when you can. Just oh. because of the energy, like uh, so many like really super positive people are live tweeting uh, Star Girl, and they're not like hate watching it like it was at the end of like Arrow and everything. <laughs> so it's like just such a different um, energy from the whole Star Girl fandom. So that last season. it's kind of like Legends actually. Oh, <laughs> that last season of Arrow was good. Uh, people were still hate watching it to see how it ended. That's it. They came back just to hate watch it, and it turned out to be pretty good, but fan servicey and that's the only reason why it was good like let's just be honest even a male can get it uh anybody on the cw can get it like hello gobble gobble whoa <laughs> this is not Wade's world philip i know we're itching to get back to our shenanigans on Wade's world <laughs> <Tell Rob. laughs> but this is a family friendly show like star girl <laughs> Yeah, Star. Yeah, Star Girl. They're doing good. Our team is getting a 
little bit too big. Like, I don't, I don't know that I want that ensemble cast to be that big. I think the little brother could die, and I'd be okay with that. <laughs> he does get sorry, 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 Dugan. Your son's got to go. <laughs> he does get annoying at times, but this, this, this isn't Diggle Junior. So you got to go, homie. You got to go. <laughs> He's gonna become a villain. Mark my words. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh no, they're not gonna give him that pen, are they? I'm just saying. Seeds were planted, and they're probably going to sprout. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Keep it simple, stupid. You stole my dad, so I'm going to end your life. Yeah, I, I see it coming. I'm just mark my words, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. That, that's my <laughs> It's super, super fun. A um, little cheesy, but like they lean into it, and they know that it's kind of cheesy. Yeah. So, it's not like they're trying to take themselves so super serious. So, I appreciate that. I think the kid actors are pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not that they're kids. They're all like in their 20s. But <laughs> I'm old now, so I can say that. Yeah. Because I was going to say, isn't Breck like 20 or something? Yeah. So, I think all of them are in like that 19 to 22 age range, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Although with Beth, when she puts on that Dr. Uh, Midnight uh, mask, I mean, she looks like she's 12. <laughs> she does. Yeah, it, it's very... Um, she looks very... It's very cool. kawaii. It's very kawaii. Very, mm. <laughs> very uh, anime-ish. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what would help. Maybe just, I don't know... You know, like a lot of the female characters do maybe cut a hole in the top of the mask, let her hair out or something. I don't know, but I'm just saying. It's weird. better for concealment, though. Identity mm -hmm. concealment. If Watchmen taught us nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for those of you who think masks don't work, yeah, I mean, for Beth, it works because she looks very young. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I am super excited to see what that season finale holds, like because we've been building up a lot of tension with a lot of different things. One of the things obviously came to a head with uh, non stabby Babs knowing what's up. <laughs> I don't know. She might get stabby. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Oh my lord! But Shiv wanted to get stabby. She was just like, "It's like, Daddy, let me kill her." <laughs> well, as to be expected. Oh yeah. <laughs> That is, um, we got some interesting parenting dynamics is all that I can say. Daddies, they're here. I was like, oh, what is this, Dra Draco Malfoy? Like, what? My father will hear about this. Part of the era, part of the era verse. I know. That should make a comeback, but, you know, hashtag still bitter. It's fine. Uh. Let's talk about something, uh, well, not happier, but something different. We can talk about showcase number 14, if you don't mind. Yes, showcase number 14. Yes, the final issue of showcase before Barry gets his own series. Or picks All up I'm where Jay is, left off. Yeah, I'm just saying, though, like, Johnny Thunder, like I, like I said, I was reading through the whole collection. I'm just like, ugh, Johnny Thunder is garbage. Oh, <laughs> Thank God Black Canary got away from him. <laughs> anyway, moving along. Although, you know, she ended up with just a big a douche. Between oh. us hands. I love Ollie, so I can say that. <laughs> but yeah, showcase number 14 from June 1958. Wow, that's so long ago. Oh, hell. And it shows. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, my parents were like two years old. So that, that, that should tell you something. Yeah, it shows its age for sure. These these issues do not hold up, sir. What is this like sixty two years ago? Oh my god! Oof. And I, I I was born at the wrong time. I still needed to have been born at least a hundred years into the future. <laughs> Do you, believe these, do you believe these psychic uh, these psychic uh, downloads they're giving us? Such crap. <laughs> oh yeah, but I, you know what? I did fancy the art in this one. Ooh. It seemed uh, I don't know. Um, the panel Ooh. construction was a little better. It's like, oh, you finally figured out what you were gonna do, but we're not gonna see them again. Okay, 
I got you. <laughs> so yes, because the first story, Giants of the Time World. Ooh, spooky sci-fi. Get it? The Flash, the fastest man alive, battles the strangest menace of all time. People who grow bigger every second. Um, phrasing? Yeah, I was going to say, there are so many different ways you could take that. <laughs> It's like, it doesn't even make sense for the fastest man alive to be going against this. Like, they're just, it's just slapstick. It's a comedy of errors. That's all it is. What the F? They just wanted to go sci-fi in the worst way. So bad. And I'm like, didn't you guys have another magazine that was kind of more sci-fi that you could have put this in? I could have sworn. Superman. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> is this thing on? Hello? <laughs> Although he wasn't around this time, he wasn't really about that robot life or yeah. you know, those other things. But they could have, it would have fit more apropos. It would have been more apropos in a different book. Oh, wait. I mean, this was the 50s. I mean, even Batman was kind of going somewhat sci fi. I mean, basically battling aliens and stuff. But yeah. So just saying, Flash didn't have to be dealing with this. Yeah, so, yes, for a nice change of pace, uh, the issue opens up with Barry meeting Iris for, uh... You don't say! Yes. Get out of town! And she tells him how slow he is, and, uh... Take a drink! You, you'd win a race with a turtle, yeah. <sighs> I wonder why I put up with your slowness, Barry, when the man I admire most is the Flash, the fastest man alive! What the Felicia Hardy's going on here? <laughs> Uh, but then, oh, hey, not, here's an, something else we've never seen before. Yes, uh, a glass. Uh, the waitress drops a glass of water, and Barry is able to catch the glass and get the water back. Spider Man, that he Spider Man, that cup up, bruh. He did that in his first appearance, too. I know that's the more obvious reference. I know for the kids today. I know the puzzled waitress stoops to recover the glass. <laughs> I would have let it fall like Barry did when <laughs> Joe questioned him. <laughs> oh, but then Iris has to leave after lunch. Oh, she's going to snap the launching of the new rockets, eh? Particle accelerator what now? <laughs> oh, my Lord. I, I don't, I, I'd almost forgotten. Uh, you know, I'm like in Arrow season two in my rewatch and just, oh, my Lord. Take a drink every time you hear it. Every time you hear You'll particle accelerator. Yeah, I know. Particle accelerator, particle accelerator. <gasps> Barry's in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> For nine months. He had a he had a speed force baby, guys. Oh did he get birth to the speed force, can it? <clears throat> we'll get there eventually, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> what the speed force? Yeah. No. It's come for a very long time. <laughs> Uh, what 40 years <laughs> almost 40 years 35 so luca will be covering the speed force by the time this show gets around to it it'll be okay <laughs> luca and tristan gener there next generation <laughs> oh no it's uh, you're uh luca and uh yes uh solo patrick <laughs> ah it's true <laughs> uh oh geez yeah but she's gonna uh Iris, but to take a fast ship up to take pictures of the city at sunset, don't go crashing through any sound barriers, honey. Um, foreshadowing. <laughs> uh, oh, look. Or is that a lampshade? <laughs> oh, no. I look later at the police lab. Barry is watching everything through his wrist TV. <gasps> you mean you could get uh, in? You still can't watch YouTube on your Apple Watch or your G or your Galaxy Watch. I'm just saying. You Get can, on that, people. You can listen to stuff, though. I, do I want to listen? I want to watch. Forget watching on your... I want a, I want a three-dimensional... I want a holographic, one. yeah. We all do. <laughs> Star Wars has led us astray. Make me feel like Tony Stark. <laughs> Uh, uh, that, I like the little neat stuff they do in the Flash to make it seem kind of futuristic, but oh it's yeah. not. But oh no, there's an unidentified flying object. A flying saucer. 
Um, and this I, is totally, totally off for the Flash, but I'm going to let it go. And Iris is going to try to follow and get pictures. Uh, what in the what in the Spider Man is going on? Around? Oh, but she does crash through the sound barrier. We'll be close enough to take a picture of the flying saucer. Uh, oh, Iris then, is an idiot. It's fine. Then it looks like the UFO like basically vaporizes her. Uh, um, every man in the world is half enough to make the attempt to flash. Uh, <laughs> this whole panel is just okay. What the rocket between his legs? Yeah. No subtext. It's fine. I'm okay. I'm not a 13 year old little boy inside. It's fine. <laughs> oh lord. <sighs> but I just love how he can talk and breathe as it's like as the rocket's just shooting us upward and upward. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, you're fast. You're not like, you know, invulnerable or, you know, bulletproof. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Yeah. Oh my Are Lord. you vibrating so fast that nothing? I, mean, I don't think you've learned that trick yet, honestly. <laughs> is that really, is it going to help you breathe? <laughs> well, you, get a vibrating, you get a vibrating. You get a vibrating. Scrambling your molecules. I don't know. It's, it's 50s DC comics. Nothing makes sense. It's fine. I survived by smoking a whole pack of cigarettes. Exactly. Uh, the menthol encapsulated my lungs. We give a little her strength. <laughs> Mostly vodka. Mostly vodka. Vod I was rushing in a previous life. It's fine. <laughs> vodka, cigarettes, and bitterness. Yep. Uh... uh but yes, he's still riding that rocket. Uh, you know, it feels like those those 1950s serial, like really bad, you know, sci-fi movies. I feel like that's the that's the vibe they were going for in this issue. Oh yeah, but just the way that just the way it moves, it must come from an advanced civilization, another planet or dimension. Hmm, another dimension. That gives me an idea. Yep. Take the DCEU with you. Take it with you, Barry. Don't bring it back. So we see him. Yeah, he breaks the sound barrier, and then he breaks through the thermal barrier, and then he breaks through the time barrier. Uh oh, making sweet, sweet love to the timeline. I swear, I don't know. He's breaking through some years. I swear, I see a six and a nine there. <laughs> he wishes. Uh, He's making sweet, sweet love to the timeline. That's what speedsters do. They can't help themselves. Oh my lord. That is like that's like our modern era quantum leap, Lilith Hellfire just leaping through time, but she can only land in years that end in six, nine. Oh or ninety-six. Oh yeah. <laughs> As Charlie brought up. <laughs> only a couple more episodes, you guys better be listening to the main show, Capes and Lunatics. Oh yeah. What, one, yeah, one sixty seven tomorrow, so get ready. Uh, oh, but oh, look, breaking through the time barrier exhausts him, so he blacks out for a few moments. You know, it's not, you know, takes him some effort to F with time now. <laughs> what, what happened? Yeah, he wakes up. Oh, I'm a prisoner of Willy Pushins. Have I made a mistake? Did I land somewhere? Yes, else? You've, you've gravely miscalculated, sir. <laughs> he just sees like a flying saucer landing field. And in that moment, he knew he messed up. <laughs> you don't messed up, son. <laughs> then one of the little people's like, I three dimensional man. I was just like, Mr. Pixel? <laughs> All these saucers are time to be fired at your world in, in one hour from now. Ambush bug? <laughs> That's where we're going. Uh. Don't anger the Charlie Esser. Uh, our scouting saucers are giving us all the information we need to destroy your puny defenses. It has taken us a century to erect these sites. <laughs> he said erect. 
<laughs> Really gotta keep this, but really gotta get back to Wade's world. <laughs> keep that trash for August, August. No, It's coming up, love. August. You're growing, you're growing, getting bigger every second. What is this? Love, okay, up. seriously, is it just me or does anybody else see the subtext? Is it just me? What with your dating life? Yes. <laughs> They wish. Um, oh. not, in this not in this corona filled place, no sir. <laughs> Y'all remember, I live in Florida. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So if you can't get any wash and say it. I don't leave my house unless I absolutely have to. Shouldn't even say it. Okay, I won't say it. Okay, if you if you can't get batteries from Amazon. Um... <laughs> Nobody tell Rob. <laughs> it's DC. He's not listening. <laughs> uh, that's why we of the fourth dimension of time will conquer your puny world. Every hour we pass through a full life cycle, we are tiny like a second, then big as a minute, then gigantic as the hour ends. Viagra? Is I'm that gonna the say, name of your I'm going to say, welcome to our world of Viagra. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so Flash watches them grow and grow into giants. They look like bootleg Colossus in general not had a baby. <laughs> so, yeah. Why are time travelers always bald? Like, there's Zarko at Marvel. He's bald. Uh, it's because in the future, there, you know, there's no need for hair. We're all just true. hairless beings. Everyone's bald and it's like, you, you know. All the floating in like, you know, this viscous substance. And it's like all of the, like those time travel, oh, those sci-fi movies it's like either if you're from the future or another planet you're bald and you have shiny clothes that's just what it is and everyone wears the same outfit yeah because like fashion's overrated like everybody just put on some freaking sneakers some jeans and a t-shirt like who needs a suit to go to work that's ridiculous down with the tyranny of time pajamas <laughs> like it's gonna be so hard going back to like work for self for a lot of people <laughs> Lil's working from home now. You think she's more? One do you think Will has worn pants in months? No, exactly. It's a contest between her. Just bought more robes. I was just like, you know what? Just robes. That's all I need. Okay, female and, and coffee cups. That's what I've invested my my time in. Female, you have no right. You. It's a it's a race between Lil and Charlie to see who can go long without pants. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Oh, don't underestimate Charlie Esser, man. Exactly. Oh, yeah, this was just terrible, though. I was just like, what What are they doing to my Flash? We had such good momentum with this last issue. Now, this is just wacky. This is like yeah. some wacky racist type wackiness. But yes, they did, they they captured a three-dimensional specimen, meaning Iris. She will join you in the hour. Three-dimensional, get it? Get uh, it? No. No. <laughs> Mm, oh, there. Yes. <laughs> I've got to get the iris. <laughs> and you can't. I escape. bet you do. <laughs> Dale. I guess he breaks free the hourglass. The giants are trying to step on him. These are the sands of time. These are the days of our Okay, <laughs> Grandma. Are we holding up from your stories? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I. Mm. But yeah, Flash hops hops on one of their boots, and then they're like, "Oh, let's get to the flying saucer." So you know, and they're like, "Hold on to Iris, because they know he'll come for her." I bet. <clears throat> Only a matter of moments before they spot me. Oh, jeez! Flash vibrates his hands against the dude's shoe and sets it on fire. <laughs> As you do, finally getting the hang of his powers, using it for good. You get a vibrating hand, and you get a vibrating hand. One of my favorite things, man. I'll bet that's the first fourth dimensional hot foot in history. <laughs> get out. Whoever wrote this, get out and don't come back. Although you probably have gone and not come back. So I shouldn't say that. So Flash grabs. These the guys are old. It looks like Iris is in a uh, test tube. She's like, Flash, only you could have done it. Now come over and give me some sugar. <laughs> Nail. 
Forget all about that that Barry Allen guy. <laughs> Not yet, Iris. I've got to somehow dispose of these. Ex- I've got to somehow dispose of those explosive daggers aimed at the world's th- throat. Yeah, you tell me it's not subtext. I'll believe you. They're gonna stab us. <laughs> <laughs> gonna choke us. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're gonna choke us. Gobble gobble. <laughs> gobble gobble. Couple of right. on the gob- <laughs> anyway. Uh. Oh, yeah, the giants are shrinking. That must mean they've completed a life cycle. <laughs> then we see the flying saucers taking off, but they explode. The explosion, the vibrations I'm setting up are blowing them up before they can crash through the time barrier. Now, we've got to get out of here before we're caught up in those blasts. We've just crashed through the time barrier. That was the heat barrier. Got to slow up. Sound barrier. So, um, nothing's protecting him from all these barriers. He's her. just running what willy nilly. What about her? Exactly. They're just carrying on a casual conversation while they're like, you know, crashing through time and space. Like she's not even throwing up a la diggle. Like, come on, man. Her hair's not even like messed up. No. Well, the hairspray back then, I'm pretty sure it had lead in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure. Like helmet hair, yeah. Yeah. It's like concrete. Uh oh. Here we are back home again. Anything I can do for you before I leave? <clears throat> exactly. Yes, Flash. Like, I'm going to get to Iris one way or another, dang it. Oh, my. I'd like you to meet a friend of mine, Barry Allen. He's sweet but slower than a turtle with lumbago. <laughs> Maybe you can tell him how to speed up a little. <clears throat> <clears throat> so can you teach him to do that vibrating hand thing? Oh, nice. Oh, man. You get a vibrating hand and you get a vibrating hand. Something tells me I'm gonna, that button's going to get worked out on uh, every flash issue we cover. <laughs> Probably. Sounds like an impossible task, he says. The end. God, Iris is an idiot. Oh lord! A beautiful, sexy, dumb lampshade. <laughs> mm-hmm. Welcome to 1958. Apparently, now I see why the women revolted. I totally get it. You broad, she he saved our life. Yeah, I like I said, I like the construction panel and the action scenes, but that subtext was just hey, not hey. subtext. Hey. They let her work, and hey, look, she's even wearing pants. You broad should be happy. <laughs> Apparently. Which, actually, girls wearing pants even in that time. Yeah, that is pretty progressive. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, but this second story. Oh, God. Remember last issue? Last episode? Uh, Mr. Element? Now another criminal appears. More bold, more daring, and possessing even greater uncanny powers than Mr. Element. The amazing Dr. Alchemy. Who do the flashes? Um, Julian did it better. No, I'm lying. I'm joking. That was terrible. Who do the flashes? Astonishment turns out to be a two in one criminal. Two Face? Two Face's daughter? (laughs) Oh, Lord. Look at this first page. These strands of rubber holding in their grip no matter which way I turn. As it should be? I don't. Remember, always always practicing safe crime. Exactly. You don't want to get your, air quotes, fingerprints all over everything now, do you? (laughs) Fingerprints. Interesting choices. I'm just saying the subtext is there for for all to see. It's not just me. It's blatant. Out of the pouch, boing. Boing. <laughs> uh, look. So, see, I swear, all these issues a showcase. It's like first story, Barry meets up with Iris. Second story, it starts with him in the police lab. You know, for variety. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> I think that you think you mean quality. <laughs> for quality. Bing. 
Ooh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my. Who am I? Sounds like a plan. Have a good night. <laughs> Basically, that's how they wrote this story. They're like, all right, we're done. <laughs> Don't think too hard about it. Uh, but yes, he's like, oh, again and again, he's making plans to meet with Iris in 30 minutes. Again? Like, come on. But then the phone rings. He's like, oh, no, hopefully it's not something that will interfere with me meeting Iris. But it is Iris. Uh, She's hooking up with the Flash, bro. <laughs> oh, he's like, cuckolding himself. Woo! <laughs> oh, but he said... He's not Dr. Manhattan. Calm down. <laughs> uh, sorry, Barry. This is one time I'm going to be late. Or does just come over the ticker tape here at picture news ticker tape yeah even i i don't know <laughs> mr mr element has broken jail stop <laughs> uh i've got to cover Talk this about hat off the presses i guess <laughs> man bears thinking mr element my most dangerous foe is captain cold's like excuse me <laughs> right that put some respect on captain cold I was gonna say we haven't we haven't gotten reverse flash yet, but yeah, Captain Cold's like, excuse me, remember mirages, cold mirages, hello, sweet sweet ice mirages. Uh, so I'm sorry, Barry. Barry, that's funny. The line went dead. Uh, so different. Yeah, me and Luca were just watching Batman sixty six, and uh. Oh, I your Facebook post, you just got owned by your seven year old. Every father's worst nightmare. Oh my lord, he's already outsmart me. Yeah, because he's asking me about that Shakespeare bust, and I was like, Yeah, it opened, you know, we're talking about it opening the back cave. He goes, You know what else it opens? The intro. I was like, Damn, <laughs> gotcha. But, but no, he's on that back phone. He's, he's like, Is that what t-? he's like, Is that what phones used to look like? I was like, They didn't light up like that, but yeah. <laughs> Speak for yourself. My clear, my clear landline lit up. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, yeah, well, you know, you remember those clear ones, like those yeah. plastic ones. Yeah. Oh, my the goodness. one with the long cord you had to drag into your closet for privacy. Yeah, I'm, I'm slightly I gonna, old. I was gonna say, I knew you either had a clear one or a shoe phone. I knew you had something. <laughs> no, in '66, I don't think a lot of them lit up. No. I think they were still on the rotary system, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. Right. Because I said, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, they all had cords like that. Why? <laughs> oh, sweet summer children. I, May I, they never know winter. <laughs> I think it, my answer most of the time, he asked me something like that. I'm like, they didn't invent it yet. <laughs> Why? Oh, tell your kid you're older than Google. Watch their face explode. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, the other night I told him, yeah, you know, I didn't have a computer until I was at least a teenager. He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, did they? All, he's like, didn't they have any? I'm like, yeah, but <laughs> they were like the size of a room and super expensive. <laughs> I, I swear, like every two seconds, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Your grandparents didn't spoil me the way they spoil you. <laughs> oh, well, you know what they say: what parent, what grandparents and grandchildren have in common? Mm-hmm. The common enemy, it's you. <laughs> oh my lord, my grandchildren! I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be like, let me tell you about some man I used to know named Spider Man. <laughs> No, we all know it's going to be Ben Riley. We all know. He's going to try to convince Luca to name if he has twins. Name one Ben and name the other one Riley. No, I was so close to getting uh, Danielle to name him something else. Maybe I can get my grandchild to be named Grayson. Oh. <laughs> you don't want him to be named Rick? <laughs> Rick with a C? No. How dare you? I'm here for Dick. And? Dink. What? <laughs> Diggity dank. Poor Kristen. <laughs> oh no, her and you are the are the number one uh, co host on the, I hear. I'll give it to Kristen. She's so gracious. Honestly, guys, if you guys aren't listening to Nightwing News, what are you doing with your life? Yeah, if you're here, you're a DC fan. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the end of this terrible story. <laughs> well, yeah. Flash uh, races off to find Mr. Element, but. We see him in a cave. There is no more Mr. Element. I have adopted a new identity. One that will enable me to deal with the, my enemy, the Flash. From now on, I am Dr. Alchemy. Boo. How about no? Which, 
editor's note, alchemy was an early and mysterious form of science, which concentrated on changing certain elements into other more valuable elements, like anything else in the gold. <laughs> Thank you, mysterious editor who didn't get credits. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, change is the keyword of my methods. I've become the. How master. about change into a good villain? I don't oh. Know. I don't know. <laughs> Already, my new methods have uh, enabled me to break out of jail. My cellmate Ben Sniper. Oh, too, it could have been worse. It could have last last name could have been over. Oh yeah, you don't want that in jail. Well, no, I'm like Ben Sniper. Is that like, like, oh, here, here is my criminal uh, partner, Matt Cat Burglar, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, they tried it. It's okay. Uh, oh, but this, yeah, the guy's telling him about his lucky stone. I bet. Kidney stone. Uh, it could be most important. Uh, oh yes, he. So, uh, yes, Doctor Alchemy finds uh, Sniper's lucky stone is really the famous philosopher. This guy just happened to cur upon the philosopher's stone. It's fool's gold. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I must take it to my subterranean hideout and test it. Where he goes about changing all his pipe, all, all his pipes to gold. Waste. I know. It's like those kings and stuff who like have like golden faucets. So what? Even if you're hey, even if your toilet's gold, you're still sitting on the toilet. All right. Looking at somebody, <laughs> but I don't want our podcast canceled, so I won't say who. <laughs> don't talk about Rob like that. <laughs> uh, no, no, not Rob. Yeah. <laughs> what did you so say? He's trying to make it rain. <laughs> Make it rain. <laughs> the Midas touch. What did you say? Uh, I Come know. on, Phil, say it. Come on, Phil, say it. <laughs> oh. Come on, Phil, say Gotham. No, my favorite is. That's my says, Charlie. <laughs> It'll um, be even better like when he eventually like shaves it off and then we can just play that until he grows it back. <laughs> You know, little peach buzz be like, hey, that's what's that? Uh, I know the power to change the earth, but a change in method calls for a change in name. So now he shall be now Dr. Alchemy. Boo. We basically, I mean, I guess Dr. Doom was taken, so it's fine. 58. I don't think Getty was. Although he does put an A on his head like Captain America. Oh, there's that. Uh, I am Dr. Alchemy and I require cash. Why? If you can change stuff in the gold, why do you need cash? Well, the gold standard was in, in effect back then. So, mm -hmm. you know, all the gold was accounted for, you see. <laughs> yeah. <I'm sorry. laughs> I mean, there's another cash stuff. is easier. Honestly, cash is easier to bribe people with than, than a gold bar. I guess, especially in 58. And loose diamonds and stuff like that. Like, only criminal. Well, I guess, yeah, if he's dealing with criminals, they should be taking it. Exactly. Or here, let me make Maybe he has a lady friend that he wants to buy something for. Who knows? Oh. Ooh la la. Poor motivations. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was like that Batman 66 episode. Yeah, the Joker's uh, girlfriend was all sad that they were trying to kill Batman and Robin with their, you know, stuck him in the chimney and tried to gas him and Joker's like, well, think about how easy it'll be to steal stuff when the Joker says, think about how easy it'll be to steal stuff once Batman and Robin are out of the way, and then you can buy whatever you want with the, you know, the money we steal. I'm like, what? Well, if you if you're stealing just stuff, steal what, what you, you want? want? Like, let's let's cut the metal man out and just steal what you want. Uh, well, he'd even he'd even notice she had that mustache before he painted over. It. <laughs> you can't That's unsee it once you see it. That's mustache, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no mess. Is, yeah. Absolute mess. <laughs> I shall take what I need from the vaults, and no one can stop me. Not even the Flash. Um, only he can. I mean, it's it's his it's his it's his time to shine, buddy. It's yeah. not the Doctor Alchemy show. Sorry. And for a guy who's supposed to solve crimes for the police, Barry 
doesn't seem to be much, but he always just runs around town looking for these guys. Huh. That's where the show got it from. <laughs> run, Barry, run. After his first episode where it's like, oh, he's smart. Never mind. We lied. We were joking. It's the pilot. <laughs> I know. Or or even the, those Arrow episodes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That strangely guard figure looks like Element, but it is Element in a new outfit. Because fashion. Mm-hmm. He's a fancy man. All the villains in everybody's rogue gallery. Oh, yeah. If you're part of a rogues gallery, you're a fancy man. I'm not a fancy man. Uh, the the Flash, Batman, and Spider Man rogue, rogues gallery probably the probably the greatest rogues gallery is those three. Yeah, hands down. Uh, what in the name of super speed can he be doing? I could grab him, but he's aroused my curiosity. Um. Okay, we'll see where this goes. <laughs> Nobody uh, knows. <laughs> but he uses the Philosopher's Stone on the coin counter and then changes them, I guess, to Quicksilver. Get yeah. it? Yeah it's, yeah, it's a few years, so we can still use that. <laughs> Can't get footing. This liquid metal under my feet is slippery as ice. Oh, wait. I have another <laughs> dangerous villain. Oh. Doesn't he have cleats on his boots? Any, you know, between... Dr. Alchemy and Captain Cold, Trini have some kind of traction in them boots. Some ice skate, something. I mean, you hit it like Batman from Batman Forever. Click it, you got the little ice skates. I mean, Iron Man had roller skates. Couldn't you put something in them boots, Barry? I mean, you know how to shrink it down into a ring. Come on. Exactly. Well, maybe he stole that technology, and that's what we always kind of gloss on. Because he is, I mean, honestly, oh, he's a scientist. Is he, though? Is he really good at what he does? In that show, are we going to see him build Gideon already? Come on. No, we're not. The original timeline is irre- irreparably damaged, and he's he, apparently that coma gave him brain damage. So. <laughs> sweet, sweet love to the timeline. Uh. So as Alchemy's getting away, Flash gets his footing, but by the time he gets outside, Alchemy is gone. But hey, I think I saw someone vanish down a subway entrance. So not the get, subway. I mean, first it was a rocket, now it's a sitting he's sitting on the train. He likes things between his legs, that's fine. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I'll grab him at the when the train stops at the next station, but it's rush hour, so Flash can't <laughs> Flash can't see him, even though he's the only one in a hood. <laughs> like I said, Barry's not the brightest bulb in the box. I know, I know he's wearing a coat, but yeah, he's the only one in a, in a hood. All the guys are like have hats. <laughs> well, most of them. Oh, but uh, then he sees Alchemy going into an abandoned building, which I guess leads underground. What is it with villains and loving to be underground? What is it? The underground. Get I guess. Because we're evil and we don't like the sun. Hey, wait a minute. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, love. I wanted to prove to you how completely helpless you are to stop me. This is you. <laughs> it is. No lies told. <laughs> You're going to prove it with that stone? This is you. You don't have the stones. Uh, and he points the stone to the cavern wall. Observe the change that comes over them. And he turns the, the cave walls into shining crystal. Hundreds of reflections of myself converging on me from all directions. Who's he, a magpie? Pretty shiny things must have. Paging Batman 401. <laughs> My foes disappeared and the glare from the crystals is preventing me from finding the way out. It's a mirror of fun houses, fun house mirrors. He tries breaking this. He tries breaking the surfaces. It's working with the glare reduced. I can see the door I came in. Okay. Is this, does this sound sentence seem kind of. He's the most, he's the most disappearing man I've ever come up against. (laughs) He's the language most, is evolving. Maybe that's how they spoke back then. I he, don't know. He's the most disappearing man. 
I mean, I think it wouldn't. Couldn't you just be like, man? Well, they, they couldn't afford very good editors, apparently. <laughs> hey, Sonny, that's why they're uncredited. Hey, Boom. Sonny, hey, Sonny, what's that say? Oh, I guess that's fine. I can't read without my spectacles. I'm only getting paid a nickel a page. It's fine. <laughs> I make a Hershey bar a day because they're a nickel. <laughs> Dr. Alchemy, so that's the name of my old foe. New name of my old foe. Why would you even bother? Oh my lord. I mean, I don't want to take anything away from Iris, but I don't think you need that much, that much skill to be a reporter in this world because the headline is just Dr. Alchemy Rob's Bank. J. Jonah Jameson style, baby! Not even <laughs> clever. I know, but at least he throws in some like flat, you know, like threat or menace or... Well, honestly, to be fair, the editor does decide, like, if it's the headline, he does have, yeah. like, you know, that choice to change it. So I blame the editor for not being imaginative. Only oh. sensationalist. Yes. Oh, but then Barry hears another call. Oh, <laughs> on the east side, a row of trash cans suddenly changed the gold plated ones. Ooh, what a waste. I was going to say, who's complaining about that? If all of a sudden, if you're garbage cans turned into. Well, it's only gold plated, so, you know. Still, might be worse, a little more than your old trash cans. <laughs> True. Well, Flash and the police scoured the east side for me on that quote unquote clue. I carefully left them. I can take my time here on the west side. West side. Apparently. I do job on this safe. Then Flash comes in. I suspected you were trying to throw me off. No one goes to the east side. <laughs> Just full of garbage. <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Full of garbage cans and disappointment. That's why I tried to do the fancy west side. Burn. Usually it's the Burn. opposite, but okay. Oh, I know. Actually, it's the south side of most cities. <laughs> Nailed it. Watch that. Put on another dazzling display with my philosopher's skin by changing the air of this room. He into is a fancy man. Oh, that's right. He's, he airs his strands of rubber. This rubber clinging to me. Uh, isn't that all? And we're back to how we some of us some of us know that feeling, yeah. <laughs> Holding me in its grip no matter which way I turn. Mm -hmm. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> if he if he had said, said something about being encased in rubber, I'd be like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> Good night. I can move a little, and by work working back and forth swiftly this way, I'm gradually widening my arc of swing as the rubber throws me back. Bro, are, are you telling me I'm imagining it? I'm imagining it. It's fine. Okay. Look, the flash is a swinger. <laughs> I'm springing loose from the rubber. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Panic! <laughs> That's why that's why little staples her her, her gentleman's on. <laughs> kill it, kill it with fire. <laughs> Can I irradiate your groin, sir? <laughs> You're standing in front of this microwave from 1941, please. Oh my god. Flash, you escaped and grabbed my precious stone. Well, you better go talk to his police captain about that one. <laughs> you won't be needing it, Dr. Alchemy, where you're going. And I have plans for your wonder weapon. Um, sure. Oh, Lord. I'm and So Flash grabs it and then he go, He speeds up to over 25,000 miles an hour and by throwing the stone in the space I'm making sure it never returns to Earth yeah I'm sure that's going to work never Um, I'm getting TV show flashbacks but it's fine well at least he's throwing it in the space and not the speed force where it'll come back to haunt him well no remember he threw that thing in the space uh, for um, Cicada Oh, yeah, and it just came right back. Instead of throwing it to a barren wasteland dimension. Yeah, another dimension, yes. Cisco just uh, vibed it in the orbit. Wow, so so it turns out Flash TV Flash is actually kind of comic book accurate. Writers I take like, it back. 
writers are like, see, we read the comics. Mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, Lord. So Flash takes Dr. Alchemy to jail. <laughs> the cops, Dr. Alchemy, thanks, Flash. This time we'll keep him under 24-hour guard instead of just checking on him once a day. <laughs> I mean, budget constraints. I guess. I mean, it's not like we had a, a you know, a military industrial complex that big back in the fifties. That 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 that's more Chris. modern thing. Oh my lord! So Flash is thinking first he was Mister Element, now he's then Doctor Alchemy, but he's going to undergo an even bigger change now from a num a name to a number in jail. Burn! <laughs> oh snap! Uh, you're in jail. Huh? Yeah, you better go buy Iris's sandwich. You know she gets Burn. angry. Burn. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he meets her at a restaurant. I know. Every time he meets her, they're eating. Or she's asking for food. That, that's like the ultimate like 50s after coming. I, I guess. That's like a thing. See? See, look at this. They're like, hey, hey, boys, find yourself a woman who can eat and eat and eat and not gain a pound. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, honestly, food was made better back then, too, so. True. You know, not as much gluten in your bread. Oh my. Not as much hormones in your meat. Hey, man, if you would have had some more of those hormones, maybe it'd be more than 5'3". You know what? No regrets. <laughs> Nobody likes a tall girl. I'm just saying, like, that's what it seems like. So. I was going to say, you're a woman. It's okay to be short, yeah. I'm still taller than most girls in Hollywood. <laughs> and Tom Cruise. We're, we're neck and neck. <laughs> Tom Cruise and I. Oh, Lord. But yeah, the last two panels, it's yeah, Barry meeting Iris at this restaurant. She's like, I thought you were turning over New Leaf, but you're late again. And he's like, sorry, Iris, but Dr. Alchemy Case has kept us hopping over at headquarters. Oh, my Lord. And you talk about your burn. Well, thanks to a real man like Flash, you won't have to worry about Dr. Alchemy anymore. You ought to thank Flash. Uh, I'm pretty sure he does every night. Thank you, sir. I have another. Burn. <laughs> Burn. I will, Iris. Now let's eat. I had a hard day. It's not to get harder. hey <laughs> <laughs> Better be springing for an expensive dinner then. <laughs> So, yes, yeah, so that was the f last issue of Showcase with Flash because next time we get jump to Flash 105 in the Mirror Master. Which which I, I appreciate that, you know, it's it had been, what, like nine, mm -hmm. yeah, like nine years since Jake Eric's Flash ended, and they just picked right back up where the numbering left off, you know. For reasons. I mean, today, I mean, they, they you know, they end something. A, they a, have like 18 different numbers. This is our legacy number. But we restarted here. But if you want to count that from this, there you go. I mean, nine years and they picked right back up with the same numbering. These days, it's like, you know, they cancel something two weeks later. There's a new number one. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. I, I, I feel bad for modern day comic book uh readers when they want to like jump in it's like wait a minute you told me to get a number one and i'm like no no no. i said 2007 yeah. not 2009 i found <laughs> to get number one i found like four of them yeah exactly it's and like it's volume like, 15 and you know it's like 1958 i mean and again i think more kids read comics than adults back at this point and so it's like you think anyone who picked up flash 105 and read flash number one probably not exactly <laughs> Nobody cared. People were uh, loyal. It was fast and loose with the rules, and I loved it. <laughs> Although, too, you did have no internet. Uh, how many movies did you get a year? Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes us a long time to make those moving pictures, see? Well, yeah, I mean, oh, God. Yeah, the movie system back then. Oof. Oh my lord, anytime we watch something like older, even like stuff from like the 80s or 90s, Luke is like, why does this look different? I'm like, it's not HD. Why? Because they didn't invent it. Why? Because <laughs> they didn't think we needed it, see? <laughs> anyway, I think the two, yeah, the, they definitely had the formula down to a science, if you will. Oh, yeah. Uh, what they wanted uh, the Flash stories to be. And I, I feel like it was varied by the numbers. 
but wholesome too with you know lots of subtext <laughs> the subtext yeah. is the best so it's been a hard day in love <laughs> you're telling me brother you're telling me Whoa. <laughs> But no, I overall I kind of like it. Like you know that that's kind of how old comics are. They have a formula. Oh yeah, and they kind of just go with it and trying to make the best of it because that's what's sold. You know, serials and things like that. Serialization was a real big thing back then. So. Oh yeah, get you some nice one and dones. <sighs> yeah, I know. Relatable. I, I said I miss some. I miss you know one and dones and you know just a simple bank robbery story. Yeah, which is like, why would you ever rob a bank in Central City? I don't know. Exactly. That's what I always say. It's like, you know, why would you live in any... It's like, you have a better chance at Gotham because you're going to rob it in the daytime, right? Just saying. What I'm even saying. I mean, go to Montana. There's no superheroes. Come on. Exactly. Not smart. Not smart. <laughs> but anyway, I'm super excited to talk about the next issue. In two weeks. Like we're getting into the meat of stuff, so... Oh, yes. Uh, but yeah, so come back in two weeks for Flash 105 because more Nightfall next week. Batman Nightfall. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be done until at least 2022. It's fine, guys. <laughs> oh, come on. We've got some good stuff coming up. No, I know. I tease. That's my thing. It's what I'm, it's what I'm here to do. Yes, you tease. <laughs> All right. So we done. On that note. <clears throat> on that. Let's note. hunt some killers. Oh, nice. On that note. But first, before that, yes, yeah, send us your thoughts on, like we said, uh, next is Flash 105. So just follow along, Flash 105, 106, 107, and send us your Star Girl thoughts. Or hey, like we said, every other week we do Batman, uh, Nightfall. So send us your thoughts on any of that. Email us capesandlunatics at gmail.com. Call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38CAPES. And remember to follow Legends of the Arrowverse, as many of you do on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow all the Capes and Lunatic stuff. Our YouTube channel. You can, well, see my face, not Lilith's. Uh, but yeah, subscribe to the YouTube. We have a Patreon channel now where we're doing all things Star Trek, so... Find links to all of that all in one convenient place. That's linktree, L A N K T R dot E E slash capes and lunatics. And as Lil said, please support the sponsors Tweaked Audio, Hunt a Killer, Hunt Some Killers, uh, Pod Life the Book, now in digital and paperback. And when you buy that and more on Amazon, because you know that's all the only place Lil shops, use the link for Southgate Media Group right down there in the show notes doesn't matter if it's youtube podcast use the link help support this show because we need help uh the <laughs> network mental help the network and rob master doom southgate make it rain so says master doom will it <laughs> If you guys want to hang out with me on the interwebs, you can find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire or on the gram at Lilith Hellfire 69 or at Lilith Hellfire 86. Can you not talk and let me enjoy this? Okay. Just let me have this one thing. I see it. I want it. I get it. <clears throat> okay, Iris. <laughs> Where's my sandwich, boy? <laughs> Hangry. <laughs> hey, crew cut. Where's my coffee? <laughs> uh, but thank you for joining us for another Legends of the Arrowverse. Again, come back for another for a new rogue, the Mirror Master. And ho, hey, go read the new F issue of Flash seven fifty eight. I believe there's a. That last page will make you, might make you happy, might make you angry. Go check it out. Think about that. Next, in two weeks, we're going to cover Flash 105, current issue 758.